Good afternoon. My name is Delana Gail Bowen. I am African Canadian Cherokee. I want to acknowledge the people of the Coast Salish Territories, the Tsleil-Waututh, the Squamish, and the Musqueam. I've been given permission to bring out this feather this afternoon. This is the first time it is in Vancouver in an exposed way. And I want to acknowledge everyone that has worked on this project. I also want to say I am a disenfranchised member of the original Downtown Neighborhood Council. I'm going to say that again. I am a disenfranchised member of the original Downtown Eastside Neighborhood Council. It strikes me today, and I really uh, want to acknowledge all the work that has been done. It, it was an extraordinary journey. One of the things that comes to mind for me, I am a 68-year-old senior that lives and works in the downtown east side from a perspective of community service. That means that I make myself accessible to as many people as possible who come to me with their issues. And there are a lot of issues. In the report, one of the things that, that was repeated in my mind as I was reading that report is something very important, and it was mentioned briefly earlier. It is about community. It's an intangible. But what is important to note when you're thinking of the downtown east side and community is the support systems that are there between the people, amongst the people, shared by the people. I am a former homeless person and addict, and I have been clean and sober for 10 years. Thank you, Creator. And I, and I know the difficulty, but I also experience personally the way that people in the downtown east side take care of each other. Part of it is our survival instinct because we are at the bottom of the ladder. The other part, in my humble opinion, is an open heart uh, approach that says we are all connected, we are surviving, and we absolutely have to be concerned and considerate about our fellow human beings in that community. So it strikes me that all of the initiatives and recommendations that have been brought forward in this plan should take into consideration that intangible. And I'll give you a good example. I have many popos, Chinese seniors who, who are my friends. And there was a building that recently was torn down. Some of the women and men in that building had been living together for 20 years. The building is gone. Their familiarity in, in, a, in a climate that they lived in is gone. Many of those seniors are now experiencing deep depression. They do not have family connections or access to their families. And so there is an increased sense of isolation because of that. So my recommendation when considering redevelopment of any of these buildings is to consider the context in that building of the people that live there. How do we um, bring them forward to a new residence and or a remodel situation that preserves the community that is built in in those environments? I think that's very, very important. There's no, um, there's no enrichment in their lives in disbursement that scatters and removes that sense of family that is built from the community. So I recommend that to be considered. Um, the other thing that I wanted to address is, you know, we are 
This community is very special. It has issues. Our issues are right out in public. And Ms. Bowen, I'm really sorry. You're at your five minutes. Can I? I am? Oh, my Lord. Can you okay. wrap it up, please? <laughs> I'm really sorry, but um, we have so many people. So, so, so what I want you to consider is, is that we find ways to preserve what we have. And I'm requesting three things as investments, because what we really need to do is invest in the people that live here. Uh, number one, an Aboriginal wellness and healing center. How about the Buddhist temple? Number two, the downtown Eastside Center for the Arts and the Mercantile Building that gives accredited arts programming to people that are invested or interested in investing in themselves. And number three, seniors housing in the Loggers Club that is no longer in use. Let's build and invest on the people that live there rather than scattering them. And, my relations. And, you, oh. and you got and you have some questions now. Oh, I have some questions. Which gets okay. you a little more time too. <laughs>